Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run the beat em up game Sifu on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this is a Windows only game that's only available on the Epic Game Store at the time of recording. Today I'm going to show this game running in a virtual machine. So this is running on Windows 11 ARM, being emulated as a 64-bit game onto the ARM architecture and it's being virtualized on the macOS operating system. And if I Alt tab here, you can actually see that we're running the Windows desktop as well. So this is quite an impressive achievement that we're able to to actually run this game at all. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to install Windows 11 ARM and then get it running on the M1 Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, please consider scrolling down and pressing the subscribe button. It only takes a moment and it really helps to support this channel and the work that I do. So the first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and download Windows 11 ARM. So I'm gonna leave a link to this web address in the description, and this is gonna take us to the Windows Insider Preview download of Windows 11 ARM. So if you're seeing this page, it means that you need to sign up to the free Windows Insider program, and I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, we need to log into a Microsoft account. So you can use any Microsoft account, this process is completely free. And once we've done this, what we can do is to click on this blue button here for learn more. So I'm gonna click on this now. And then what we're gonna do is to scroll down and then we'll get to this Windows Insider Program sign up. We're gonna click this register button here. So here it's saying we're gonna register for the Windows Insider Program. I'm gonna click sign in now. So it's already detected that I've logged into my Microsoft account. I'm gonna scroll down here. We're gonna click I accept the terms of this agreement and then click register now. And when it says welcome to the Windows Insider Program, we're now able to go ahead and download Windows 11 ARM. So what we now need to do is to return to this web address that we had at the beginning. And now that we've logged in with a Microsoft Insider Program account, this page has changed and we now have this blue button here, which is the Windows 11 ARM download button. So I'm gonna click this button now and it's going to download Windows 11 ARM VHDX for us. So this download is gonna take a little bit of time. It's 9.5 gigabytes in size. So whilst we're waiting for this to complete, we can move on to the next step. So next we're going to download and install Parallels, which is the virtual machine software we're gonna be using in order to run Windows 11 ARM on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So what I do recommend that you do is to click the link at the top of the description. This is gonna take you to the Parallels download page. If you make a purchase after clicking this link, then you'll be helping to support my channel and the work that I do. So once you've clicked the link, what you can do is try the software out for free for 14 days. If you do decide to buy now and click new license, what you can do is go ahead and select the Pro Edition and then click buy now. And if you click this enter a coupon code button here, and then you type in the code AppleWiki10 and click apply, then you're going to receive a 10% discount. So here I'm going to use the free trial and I'm gonna click the download now button here. And then we're gonna press okay. And then the software has downloaded. So now I'm gonna to navigate to my finder and then go to my downloads folder. And then I can see here my Windows 11 ARM is still downloading. However, I'm going to go ahead and install parallelsdesktop.dmg. So here we're gonna double click on the installer. And now we're gonna double click on install parallels desktop. Here we'll press open. And we're just gonna let this finish downloading. So now we're gonna enter our password and press okay. So once Parallels is installed, what we're gonna do is to double click on Parallels Desktop and then we're gonna be met with this installation wizard. So here we're gonna press continue and what we're gonna do is to create a new Windows 11 ARM virtual machine. So we're gonna select the right hand side icon here and press continue. Now it's automatically detected that we've downloaded the Windows 11 ARM VHDX file in our downloads folder. So if this doesn't appear, what you can do is click choose manually and then click select a file, and then we can go to our downloads folder and then select the Windows 11 ARM inside of preview and then press open. So next we're gonna press continue. And because we want to maximize game performance, I'm gonna select games only as a primary use and press continue. So here we can set a name for our virtual machine. I'm just gonna leave it as default and press create. And now we're gonna let Parallels create that virtual machine for us. So now Windows 11 ARM is being installed and this is going through the setup process. And that's going through the setup process. We just have to wait for this to complete. So now that installation is complete, we're gonna press the continue button here and Windows 11 has automatically maximized itself. You can see here that Windows, you can see here that there are various updates that are already being installed. So we're gonna minimize this and we're going to close this browser window. So one of the main things to do when you first start is obviously let the updates all complete. A handy tip as well is to right click on the desktop here and then click display settings. And here we're gonna configure the display resolution. So scaling is something that I always change to 100%. This is because sometimes games will crash if they're run at a higher display scale. So once we're 
in Windows 11 ARM, I'm going to open up the Edge browser and then we're going to go to the epicgamestore.com website. So you just go to here, type in epicgames.com and you'll be taken to this page here. So what I'm going to do now is we don't have to sign in yet. We're going to download the software itself so we can install some games. So I'm going to press the download button here and this is going to start a download process. So once that's done, we can press open file and then we'll start the installation process. So here I'm going to press install. Here we're going to press yes. And it's just going to install to the default location. So now it's asking us again if we want to allow it to make changes to our computer, we're going to press yes. So this is now downloading the software itself. We'll just wait for that to complete. It's 513 megabytes in size, so it's relatively large. We're going to press yes again for the launcher prerequisites permission. So now that the installation is completed, the Epic Games launcher is launching. So now we're going to sign in with our Epic Games account. If you don't have an Epic Games account already, you can go ahead and sign up for one for free. So just click the sign up button here. I'm actually going to sign in with my Epic Games launcher here. So we're going to type in my email address and password. And while we're doing this, if the Defender firewall pop up pops up, then we can press allow access here. This allows the Epic Games launcher to access the internet. So once you've entered your two-factor sign-in as well, we're going to be logging into the Epic Games Launcher. So what I'm going to do now is to look for the copy of Sifu on the Epic Games Store store. And we're going to click the store icon here. And I'm going to type in Sifu. Here it's asking us to confirm that we're going to be looking at mature content. I'm going to press continue. And then here we have the trailer. But what we're really interested in is buying the game. So I'm going to buy the game now. I'll press buy now. So if you do purchase this game, please make sure to click on the link in the description. This is an affiliate link which will help to support my channel and the work that I do. So once I've entered my payment information, I'm going to press the place order button here and we're going to press agree. So now Sifu has been added to my library. I'm going to press the library button here. And then we can scroll down and find Sifu or this pop up here, which allows us to install it from there. However, if that closes, we can find the game in our library and then I can click on it. And it's asking us whether we want to install it here. I'm going to press the install button. So if I scroll up to the top, we can see here that Sifu is installing. So just let that download. It's a fairly large game, so it's going to take a bit of time for that to complete. So now that Sifu has completed its download, what we're going to do is to click the launch button here. And now it's asking us to install some dependencies. We're going to press yes and then run. We're going to agree to the prerequisites and press install and press yes. Then we're going to download .NET Framework 3.5. So here I'm going to press close on the prerequisites. And the game is actually loaded, even though we're installing these features. It kind of got stuck on there for a moment, but the game has loaded in the background. I'm just going to minimize this. And then we can see this game is running in the background now. I'm actually going to right click on the icon and close it so I can relaunch it. So what I've done now is just restart the game and I've applied reshade here. So we've got the frame rate counter in the top right hand corner and I've turned down these settings to low. So everything's on the low setting at the moment. And then what we're going to do is to start a new game and just see how this plays. So frame rate is a little bit low and it's a little bit laggy, but it seems like it actually is playable. So I've just played through this kind of combat section and the game runs okay on low, especially when we're in this interior setting. I think if we're outside with all the rain effects, then it's going to be running much worse than compared to say inside, but this does seem to be playable. If you'd like to find out more about games that are compatible for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please make sure to check out the M1 Compatible Games Master List. I'll leave a link to this in the description. This contains a really long list of games which are compatible through the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, whether it's running natively through ARM, through Rosetta 2 or one of the compatibility layers such as Crossover or Parallels. So please check it out. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Please also make sure to check out the Apple Gaming Wiki YouTube channel. This contains a playlist of game benchmarks that I performed on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac and there are literally hundreds of games which I've tested. So please check this out. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. So anyway, that is how you get Sifu running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac through Windows 11 ARM on Parallels Virtual Machine. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac gaming tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.